So we're going to start off where we left off in the last video, where we had a remainder, 2,435 divided by 8, and the result was 309, and we had 3 left over, that was our remainder 3. And we then turned that into a fraction by saying 309 and 3 divided by 8, or 3 over 8, 3 eighths, 3 that hasn't been divided by 8. But we're now, I'm now going to show you um, how to answer that as a decimal. So we're going to that remainder 3, but we've still got that remainder 3 that we need to deal with, so that's there. Okay. Let's run out that whole answer there. Now, 2,475, we need to extend the appearance of this number. So we've got 2,475, and we do this by actually showing the tenths after the decimal point. Because 2,475.0 is exactly the same, has exactly the same value as just 2,475. We're just showing that we've got zero tenths there. That's all we're doing. So I'm going to put that in here. That's my point. And zero. And if I do that there, I then need to do the decimal point up here. Because we're talking in tenths. I'm going to extend my answer line. Now remember, we've got three left over. It was 309 with a remainder of three. And just like when we had a remainder of seven here, we put, up, we put it up to the next place value. We can do exactly the same here. So we've got a remainder of three units. And three units is the same as 30 tenths. Again, it's exactly the same pattern that when you go one place value to the right, it has to be 10 times more to be equal in value. So this, these three units we're going to put over here, these three remainders. This is now 30. It was 0 tenths, so 0 is now 30 tenths. 8 into 30 goes 1, 2, 3. I can't get 4 in, so it's just 3. 3 eighths of 24, and uh, my remainder is going to be 6 because 24 to 30, you've got 6 left over. So my remainder 6. So we do exactly the same again. We're now going to change the appearance, by ext or extending the appearance, by showing that it's got 0 hundredths there. And our remainder 6 now, from 30. So we go up here, and again, 6 tenths. It's going to be the same as, you guessed it, 60 hundredths. I'm missing a D there. Six hundredths. Eights into sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't get eight, so it's seven. That's gonna be another remainder. Fifty six to sixty, remainder four. So again, do exactly the same thing. We're gonna extend the appearance by including now thousandths. We've got a remainder of 4, remember? 56 to 60 is remainder 4. So the 4 hundredths become 40 thousandths, exactly the same pattern. 8 into 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, and it is exact, 40, 40. So this is our complete answer, 309.375, 309.375, and remember, we did initially say that in the last video, it was 309 and 3 eighths. If you put in 3 eighths into a calculator, so 3 divided by 8, you will get that equaling to... 0 0.375, that's 375, 375.